Hello guys and welcome to another interesting video. We have this exponential equation. 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power 3x is equal to 10. And we have to figure out the value of x that is going to satisfy this equation. But x is a real number. Of course, before we start, feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. And again, before we start, shout out to all Indians. I really appreciate your comment. Let me know where you are watching me from so that you also get a shout out in on this video. Now, let's begin. In fact, looking at this equation critically, you can see that substitution method would be the best option. So I'll just have to keep the first term, that is 5 to the power x, then plus, this right here is also the same as 5 to the power x, then all to the power 3, and this is equal to 10. And this time around, we we'll go ahead and then let any variable, of course, I'm going for m because my name starts from m, to be equal to 5 to the power x. And the new equation is actually going to be m plus m to the third power is equal to 10 cubic equation. Anytime you want to solve cubic equation, it is advisable to equate everything to zero. So this equation will now be m to the third power plus m minus 10 is equal to zero cubic trinomial. Of course, this is really difficult to factorize, especially when the terms are three. But as soon as we make the terms 4, we can easily factorize. So what I will do is that we have just m here. I'll express that as 5m minus 4m. And we all know that this will give us m. So in place of this m right here, I'm going to put this. We have m to the third power. But instead of writing this 5m first, I'm going to write minus 4m because if this one comes less or before this, then we can easily factorize the 4 so that it will be pretty much easy. Cool. So we have minus 4m, then plus 5m minus 10 is equal to 0. From these two terms, clearly we can take m out so that we have m times m to the second power minus 4. And I believe you are seeing what I'm seeing right here. Then plus from these two terms, in fact, we can take 5 out. Then the inside we have m minus 2, which is also 0. Inside this parenthesis, I'm sure you know what we have there. Difference of two squares. Remember, this point is the same as 2 to the second power, which makes everything difference of two squares. So, in fact, we can express this as m times, let me use the red marker, difference of two squares, which is m plus 2, then m minus 2. Two and the rule of this is going for what is inside the parenthesis, then plus five times n minus two, and this is zero. Pretty interesting. Now, check this we have n minus two, n minus two, they are common, so we can just take them out. So we have n minus two, then here we'll be left with n times n plus two, which is the same thing as m to the second power plus. 2m, that right here we just left with 5, so I'm going to put plus 5, and this is equal to 0. Check this, product of two factors is 0. Actually, you can form two equations. First, let me get rid of this quickly. The first equation is going to be the first factor, which is m minus 2 is equal to 0, and clearly we see that m is equal to 2 as a solution for m, or we have this, which is m to the second power plus 2m plus 5 is also 0. We don't have to solve this equation straight away because there is a restriction right here. m is a real number. So first of all, we need to discriminate to see whether this quadratic equation right here is having real root or not. But before then, let's compare this to the general quadratic equation. That is a m to be in terms of m squared then plus bm plus c is equal to 0. Now if you compare this to what we have here, we can clearly see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and lastly c is equal to 5. Now let's go ahead and then use the discriminant formula. That is actually what is the sign is this, that is delta, which is just like that. And this is equal to b squared minus or AC. And this time we have B is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 
5 and we are going to have 4 minus 20 which is just negative 16 and of course negative 16 is less than 0 meaning that delta is less than 0 therefore this equation has no real root the fact that this is less than 0 is that we cannot have real root for this quadratic equation so ladies and gentlemen our answer for m is just m is equal to 2 now remember don't just end here because a lot of people make such mistakes after getting m they just end here we are looking for x not m so when you get m in fact m is equal to this equation so we are going to have 5 to the power x is equal to 2. Pretty interesting. Now, this equation is also an exponential equation, but the easiest approach to solve this is to take log in base 5 on each side of the equation. And as soon as we do this, because the power will come to the front here, and we will have x is equal to log base 5 of 2, because what is here will just give us 1. 1 times x is just x. Or if you like to take log in base 10 on each side, you'll also be getting something like this. x is equal to log 2 divided by log 5, which is the same as what I got earlier. Now, if you use a calculator for this, we are going to get x approximately equal to 0. Point, of course, let me check for you really quick. 0 0.43068. This is the approximated value for x. If you go ahead and then replace x with this approximated value, you also get approximately equal to 10. So, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, it's really important to me. So, do me a favor now and don't forget to check out this video or this one. Have a nice day, take good care of yourself, and see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.